بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Now basically you can see the list of topics here so in general if i just click on that url you'll find or even you can if you just search with uh, some videos some options like cisco ccnp service portal basically the new you can find the details directly from here so you still see some of the ccnp old papers right now because still we are in january so probably till february 23 these are the current papers but our focus will be on the exams based on the new one so if you click on this option here now from here you can see the different exams so you can click on this exam or you can see the overview of this prerequisites again there is no prerequisite as i said you can directly jump into the ccnp certifications and these are the papers so currently we are going on this sp core so if i click on this you'll find the overview the overview topics and if you just want to see the topics here exam topics you can see here now in this exam topics again we have different sections now we have something like architecture section and then networking and mpls and the segment routing and the services services you can see these are the options in the services and then we have something like automation and assurance covered in in one section so probably uh, i have just separated so this is more like as per the cisco blueprint but again you will find some topics here and there so i have just separated the topics uh, individual like uh, if initially starting with something like ospf so we'll be starting initially with routing protocols initially like running ospf for ip version 4 and ip version 6 So if you remember I said we'll be running some kind of dual stack architecture where we'll be running IPv4 and IPv6 at the same time because probably the service portal might be connecting to some customers they might be running IPv6 so they need some IPv6 support and also you have existing IPv4 customers so your network should support both so we'll be running both IP version 4 and IP version 6 so initially we'll be starting with routing concepts with OSPF routing and the iss routing so basically these are the two routing uh, protocols commonly used inside the service portal network so we still have ehrp rip now these are no more part of the service portal syllabus probably uh, you don't not really used so we'll be seeing this ospf and the iss routing protocols implemented with both ip version 4 and ip version 6 options So apart from these two OSPF and ISS will also be covering the BGP BGP obviously is the main protocol used inside the service portal especially connecting to internet so we'll be seeing the options of implementing the BGP with with respect to IP version 4 as well as IP version 6 okay and then also we'll see some troubleshooting again to some extent in the in this core paper we'll limit this concepts a little bit but probably we'll get into more a uh, depth or more deeper will be getting into uh, this paper probably the implementing the service portals routing probably this paper that is what the code i think it is 35510 so probably in this paper will be getting more in depth on the routing uh, routing topics okay so the service portal core paper is like an overview foundation so we have some uh, limitation here we'll be stopping up to that limitation and also we'll see the troubleshooting of the protocols all the three protocols and also we'll try to see the routing advertisements now one thing we'll be doing here is uh, additionally now all this implementations we not only do on the cisco iways routers now generally the cisco iways routers are used uh, mostly on the access level routers or on the customer side but we'll also be seeing something like iways xe and iways xr like in the asr 9000 series routers will be running cisco iways xr and you have you will be running some iways xe in some of the cisco asr 1000 platforms so typically here we are not getting into individual platforms like hardware platforms much 
Uh, this is more into the iOS operating systems and the configuration hierarchy will be different in the different operating systems. So we'll be seeing the differences. We'll try to compare the these three operating systems and then we'll also see the configuration examples with respect to these different iOS options. Okay, so next thing we'll also see some of the high availability concepts like uh, generally high availability is concepts like we have something like non-stop forwarding, graceful restart, non-stop routing, and also we have something called BFD, uh, bi-directional forwarding detection in OSPF and ISS protocols. So basically these high availability options uh, are used generally if your device fails or the processor fails. So we want the device to still forward the traffic that is kind of non-stop forwarding. We'll try to understand these different concepts and how they differ and how they provide you the high availability options okay so we'll talk about those options and apart from that we'll also see some of the multicast services um, multicast services like uh, ip multicasting we'll see some of the multicasting concepts like imp implementing some kind of pim sparse mode pim source specific multicast mode and bidirectional pim and also implementing some IGMP version one, two, three, and also uh, multicast listener discovery. This is specific to learning the IPv6 multicast neighbors. Okay. So this is more into multicasting topic. And then we'll also see some of the IPv6 transition mechanisms. Now this IPv6 transition mechanisms, uh, again, as I said, describe means we don't get into complete configuration implementation part. So we'll try to understand the technology concepts in today's network, like you, you generally connect to the internet. Now this internet supports your IP version four and IP version six now. So basically you need to uh, use some kind of concepts which will allow you to interoperate between the IPv4 and IPv6 communication. So we got different concepts like we have NAT44, NAT64, 6RD, MAP, DS Lite. These are all the different options. Now these options will allow you to transition your network to support IPv4 along with IPv6 options. V4 and V6 both options. Okay, so next thing we'll also get into some kind of MPLS concepts. Now implementing the basic MPLS uh, core network with the help of LDP and we'll also see some LDP options to configure and also we'll try to configure some of the L2 VPNs as well as some of the L3 VPNs. So there are some MPLS concepts will be getting in and then some L3 VPNs within the same AS and also some of the L2 VPN options. What are the different options with L2 VPN? And probably those options will will try to configure like we have something like 802.1 AD. Now these options like there is something called QNQ tunneling. We'll talk about that QNQ tunneling and then we have 802.1 uh, AH, uh, this is more into provider backbone breaches or is also called as Mac in Mac options. And then we have something like G.8032, which is kind of Ethernet ring protection switching mechanism. And apart from that, we'll also see something like e Ethernet OAM. OAM is actually stands for operations, administration, and maintenance. So this is a kind of protocol suit or protocols for installing, maintaining, and troubleshooting your Ethernet networks. And also some other options like VLAN tag manipulations. Now this VLAN tag manipulations is more about uh, manipulating the VLAN tags, especially when you're providing the layer two VPN connections between the customers over the existing service product infrastructure. So kind of changing the tags. Okay, so this is like over uh, MPLS concepts. Again, we'll be getting more deeper when we get into the VPI paper, we have something like S uh, service part of VPN service paper. I think that is 350-515 code. And in this exam, probably we'll get into more uh, deeper about these VPN technologies.